Two five. Is it crazy to say that? Do you agree with Shaq? Is it time to put Steph in our best player to score? I, I agree with it. Yes. All the time we talk about the best player in basketball, mm -hmm. right? Is it, Le is it LeBron James? Is it Michael Jordan? Right? Is it, is it um, Magic? Is it Kareem? Is it Shaq? We always talk about that. Now, I think we all would probably say either Michael or you probably would go with LeBron. Yeah, but yeah. to have the conversation, for sure. This is why I love Steph Curry being in the conversation of being one of the best basketball players of all time. This is in the conversation. <clears throat> when you look at a guy like LeBron James, he's 6'9". We've never seen anybody so freakish, athletic, can shoot, can dribble. 6'9", big guy, freakish, okay? You look at a guy like Michael Jordan, who can do everything, fly, soar over the air like an eagle. You want that the song? You look at a guy like Magic, a 6'9 point guard, mm -hmm. been super successful in college, high school, came to the league, got a championship right off the gate. You see these things. Kobe Bryant, what can I say more about Kobe Bean Bryant, the mm. Mamba? Mm. I mean, the kid came from out of high school. I watched him in high school. Yeah. Super dope. And you see the things he's done. You look at Steph Curry, 6'2", skinny. Look at how he came up, though. Small dude, small. Mm. Steph Curry's not super quick. Steph Curry's not super fast. He's not super long with arms. He's not, he can't jump out the gym. Walking bucket. And you put him in a conversation with these greats. He's changed the game. A dude that's not super athletic, not super quick, not super talented, right? But he's one of the best we've ever seen. Mm -hmm. He's changed the game forever. And I just think that a guy like Steph Curry, all people can relate to. You can't relate to a guy like Kevin Durant. You can't relate to Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson. You can relate to Steph Curry. You can see a 6'2 skinny guy walking the street, delivering your newspaper. Mm. You can see a 6'2 coach that never played pro, never played college, was a high school coach. Mm -hmm. He makes everybody believe. And when you have a guy like that that is so dedicated and I always say work ethic always beats talent. I hear that, but do you believe that? When you look at Steph Curry, you believe that. Mm. I think the biggest part of Steph Curry's legacy is what you said about him changing the game. The actual game of basketball in the modern sense, is played differently because of Steph Curry. How they recruit players. How big guys have to defend. You used to never have to leave the bucket. You could just stay right there and just be big as hell, and a that's rebound. your job. <laughs> just jump up and get a rebound. Now you have to be able to go out and play defense and get back. So now it's influenced other positions as well. We expect big guys to be able to knock a three down every once in a while. It used to be if you were, if you were a big man and you even thought about taking a three-point shot, they would bench you. What are you doing? Yeah, no doubt. What are you doing? Get your butt under the basket. Get under the basket. You don't get to take three-point shots. <laughs> yeah. Now we celebrate it. Now it's a part of their game, and that's you, all you because gotta have it now. you got to have it. you got to be able to, guys like you gotta to be able to defend out there. You have to, be, you have to be flexible. You have to be able to shoot that shot. And Steph Curry is the one that's responsible for all of it. And while I do think I don't want to take away from LeBron or Jordan and what they've contributed to the game as Absolutely. well, because obviously they are otherworldly. It's not yeah. relatable. Even though we want to be like Mike, it's always aspirational. LeBron, the king. Everybody can't be the king. But to your point, Steph is not just relatable. He's made it so that the game has actually changed. So I don't think it's ridiculous to put him in that conversation. Obviously, we respect what Shaq has to say because of what he's contributed to the game as well. But he has the championships to back it as well. It's not like we're just talking about somebody's extreme talent with no results. He has a lot of results to validate not only what we've seen on the court, but what he has contributed to that team. Now, let me add a little tension to this and, conversation. And it's, and it's this conversation, too, though. Uh, but that, that's the tension yeah. I want to add. Because like, we've done this a lot in football. Hey, is this person in the MVP conversation? Okay, well, how long is the conversation? If we're putting stuff in the MVP conversation, is that now to imply that the conversation is 10, 15, 20, 25 people long? Because in my mind, a GOAT conversation should be maintained by two, three, four, five people max. So yeah. are we putting stuff in a conversation that now has 15 people in it? Because that kind of saturates or dilutes the conversation. So right now, yeah. right, you, you got Kareem. Right. right. Yeah, I would say three people are in it. Who's that? Kareem, MJ, Mike, and uh, Braun. Okay. I mean, Those are the three people I, I would like say that. I in. like that. I just, you got know, Kobe's in there. Yeah, Kobe. And, and the Magic. <clears throat> it depends what you like. Yeah. That's why I love it, because it's, it's a conversation. Like, like, Shaq was the most dominant player. I mean, if you only want to talk about the, the greatest, I mean, he, he, can have, he can have an argument with there. Yeah. Nobody can stop him. Nobody. And then even Kareem. Kareem is seven foot. That sky hook. Like, he's won everywhere. Mm -hmm. Everywhere's been, he's won. Yeah. So you can always argue, I guess, your points and your opinions on who should be the best. I'll uh, listen. Nope. I'll listen to arguments, James, about Steph. Yeah. I'll listen to arguments about Steph, no doubt about it. But the problem I have is I think we are just misconstruing our words. And Shaq caught himself doing it. Shaq said, I mean, he's my favorite player. And Kenny said, well, I mean, well, yeah, his favorite. <laughs> but you said best. Yeah. I think 
Steph is the most exhilarating. I think he might be the most dynamic. I might think he might be the most impressive. He might be the most fun to watch. But when you're saying best, yeah. James, yeah. that carries a lot of weight. Yeah. That carries some defensive weight. Steph don't play no defense. Yeah. So when you're saying best, you're saying a lot more than just best shooter. Like, yeah. that means something. No doubt. And, I mean, nobody is going to look at you crazy if you say, Steph is my GOAT of all time. Ain't nobody finna look at you crazy. Oh, Steph well. has accomplished a lot of stuff on the basketball court. But when I think about the GOATs, number one, LeBron James plays every position, but he has small forward, right? Mm -hmm. When you look at small forwards, he's the greatest small forward to ever play the game. There's no other body person that you're going to say is better than LeBron at his position. Same with Mike. When you talk about shooting guard, there's nobody else that you putting in front of Mike. When we talk point guards, it's people you might choose in front of Steph Curry. So he's arguably people? not even the best point guard of all time. I mean, some people, people like Isaiah. Some people like Magic. Isaiah. Man, bro, I'm just saying some people like those. It's a conversation as greatest point guard. It ain't no conversation as greatest small forward or greatest shooting guard. We know who those are. Our greatest center. We know who those are. So for me... If, if it's an argument about you being the greatest at your position, I don't know how you can be the greatest basketball player of all time. And, yes, I agree with Shady and Joy. He has changed the game when you talk about shooting the basketball. I yell at my kids now, shoot another three. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't go to the hole, well, shoot another three, I'm getting you out. You know, so he has changed the game, but greatest of all but, time. But, but, see, not only changing the game, though, like, like, even the, the, the way they scout now, even the way they, they, they call their offense. No you see all threes from everybody, what? not just this, this team. I see it. Everybody. I see and another it. thing about Steph, what I was talking about is, how is it that this guy is not as athletic, not as talented, right? Not as tall, not as quick, not as fast. But he's giving you the same type of production and even more than all these other dudes. A guy a like player. Westbrook, yeah. right? should be better than Steph Curry. Guy like John Wall, mm -hmm. Linky Talk, the jumping, they, they should be better than Steph Curry, and they're not close. Sure. Yeah, they can't you get what I'm saying? So it's like, if, if I'm going to scout players, I'm going to take the 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six point guard. No doubt. With the handle, long arms, I'm yeah. taking him. 100%. But nowadays, I can't say that. You know why? A dude number 30 that plays for the Golden State you're Warriors. Not, I don't think you're wrong. You no, can't I don't be think what Joy's saying is wrong. Oh, I, mean, Steph, wrong. I just think it's still not, it doesn't make him the best. Because what we all have done here is, when you're talking about the best, whether it is Kareem, whether it is LeBron, whether it is Mike, all those dudes also were locked down defenders in their prime. I do think the two-way the two way like, discussion makes it more difficult to argue for the greatest of all time. It has to. I, I will submit Objective. to that. Objectively speaking. I think that he is unequivocally one of the most influential Easy. players yeah, yeah, of all time Easy. Easy. Nope. on the court. Because yeah, uh, once we start getting into the, the, the totality of close. sports, close. like yeah. obviously Jordan is the most. Of course. But... He, on the court, Steph has influenced the actual game of yep. basketball yeah. in a way that it might not ever change Probably only again. Only Shaq. Yeah. You know what but I mean? But like even the Shaq, like, there's only one Shaq. Like, yeah. there's only one man that is that big and that athletic mm -hmm. and that good at basketball at his size. Correct. Steph has actually influenced, like I said, not just his position at point guard, everyone else. Correct. Yeah. But I think, again, these are different conversations. Yes. We're, we're agreeing yes. with you. Right? Yes. And the, agree the greatest of all time is a very, it's, it's a very highly contested. So wait, wait. So wait, wait. Let me ask you a question, though. Oh, y'all. You talk, so I'll let you go first, Joey. You would probably say Michael's the best of all time? Yeah. Michael oh. is the GOAT to me. That's, he's my GOAT also. That's my GOAT. But my, so what, what makes Michael Jordan the greatest player of all time, in your opinion? I think he was, an, he was great in every aspect of the game right. on the court. He was one, one of the most influential winners. Yes. He was the leader of a dynasty. He, he right. transformed the sport. There's a, there's a lot of reasons why. So when you say them things, right, and I totally agree with you. Yeah. But when I think about Steph... Yeah, he has a lot of those things as well. You get what I'm saying? So it's not a crazy conversation. No. Everything you can say about MJ, you can say about, about Steph. Only... And I think MJ's better, a lot better than Steph Curry. I'm just saying, when you talk about the conversation of the greatest of all time, like, Steph got a point. About what, where I would give MJ the nod is the defense. defense. Yeah, but... Okay, you know, it, it was great defense, but it was, time, you know... No, nah, nah. oh, no, no, no. I, I'm an MJ crazy fan. Of course. So I'm, I'm right with MJ. He's the greatest of all time. But it, it's, 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 it's even easier and better... Right? When you got a better defender on your team. You yeah. know what? I can lock up. He might have a couple buckets on me. Scotty, get it. Because I've seen it. I've seen it first time they played um, on the road. They played um, um, the Lakers. And Magic had his way. Y'all forgot? Mm -hmm. Y'all forgot? No. Oh, I keep cooking. That's what he said. Hey, Scotty, go, go and grab that. Go and grab that. <laughs> and after that, Scotty locked Magic up the whole series. But then yeah. what they do? Got the ring. But then to and that me, was his first ring. To me, then, it's not a conversation. That's because it. Because if you're saying that Michael is the best, by far, to me, 
then the conversation is open and it is closed. I mean, well, well, for, well, for me, right, the, what Shaq said was the conversation. So I think LeBron James deserves to be one of the best players in that conversation. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. right? I think MJ's the number one, though. I think MJ's the greatest. Yeah. Steph is the same thing. But you wouldn't say, be in that conversation. But you, in my mind, like, because being in the conversation, you wouldn't say that Jordan is clearly better than LeBron. You'd be like, nah, I'll take Jordan. I'll take, give me Jordan. Uh, but like, I, I, any, yeah. in the comp, uh, in the no, comp, I think Jordan's the best in the all comp time. that Joy brought up with, uh, that you and Joy were sparring about, what she brought up is huh? everything that Steph could do, Jordan did outside of shooting a three ball. Okay. Jordan did a little bit better. Galvanizing a team. Jordan galvanized it a little bit better. Winning chips. Jordan did it, obviously. A little bit better. Revolutionizing the game. Jordan did it a little bit better. So I, how can I don't you know about that one. Revolutionizing the game? I mean, I mean, I hear you, but like, look, I mean, look, bro. Oh, man. There's a different conversation between oh, off the yeah, court and on the court. I'm just saying, I'm saying when we talk about on the court, when you watch the game now, though, I know. You getting yelled at for shooting the two ball. Why you make that layup? I don't care if it's open. You see him open the three ball. Like, <laughs> that's what it is now. Dudes is coming from half court. Look at look at the way they playing. Yo, shooting the ball a deep three was a bad decision. Right? Now you look at it, you can do like like Lillard, shooting freaking from half court in a team. So and everybody want to be like Mike. Mike. Mike is on football. I hear you, bro. <laughs> I hear you. But Mike, still, ain't, Mike ain't caught a football ever. Mike is on football. I hear you. I mean, Mike I'm, completely I'm changed. I'm speaking more. I'm sorry. I'm speaking on more court. on the court. But even, no doubt, but even on the court, though, I would yeah. say, because remember, your favorite player's favorite player was Mike. Right. So, the, so and when, you, when we talk about it in football, we talk about coaching trees, right? And okay. oftentimes okay. we think about greatness based on the coaching tree. Jordan still has a greater basketball tree, but, obviously. So, so, so right now, who plays like MJ? A lot of oh. people try. Kobe left. Yeah, I'm right. nobody. And, but remember, Kobe, so Kobe's oh, hold on. Kobe Tatum, the closest hold on, hold on. Tatum tried to play like Kobe, and Kobe tried to play like Mike. I mean, so it's still a, it's still a tree. Yeah, I'm whoa, talking. Whoa, 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 whoa. I would say you, Kobe's influence is, is because of Mike, because Kobe right, but, modeled but, his game. Exactly. But what I'm, so saying, so, modeled, so, but what I'm saying is like, if you're looking at changing the game, right, and affecting the game. So MJ, he was different. different. Dudes ain't they, they not doing all that, right? Even if you, Kobe was the closest thing to him. That's my Correct. Kobe's my yeah. favorite player. Correct. Other than Kobe, like who else? You said Tatum. Tatum don't play like MJ. But no, Tatum tries to play like Kobe, and Kobe tried to play like Mike. I, so I'm I, saying, I, I, don't, it, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't think Tatum has like, literally said it like. But I don't care what he, he said. <laughs> what say he play like? He want to play like Kobe. I don't, I don't care but, what they say. But the, but the point is, who play like Steph Curry? I want to know that. But nobody does. But it's all about what well, do they nobody. aspire to Man. do. Okay, I don't know about it. But, but, when, I, when I look at the TV, right? When I look at the TV from when Jordan was playing to now, it looks like. Everybody's mimicking the Warrior style and Steph Curry style. Am I tripping? No. No. So when you ask me who's affecting the game, come on. Well, Steph is affecting the game right now. <sighs> at a crazy, at a crazy he's margin. Been in the league because, I mean, the way he shoots the basketball. But the conversation is greatest of all time. Like, if, if somebody asks you who's the greatest of all time, out I'm of, say hold Michael on, Jordan. Hold on. Out of Mike and, out of Mike and Steph, it's going to be, bro, watch out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, if somebody says who's the greatest out of LeBron and Jordan, we all said we take a Jordan, but it's a heck of a conversation. Sure. Yep. It ain't like that with Steph Curry. So that's why my thing is, like, when you talk greatest of all time, and if you put them two people in the same room, you're going to look like, Steph, go over there. I, all the stuff you accomplished and everything a, you changed in the game, com- Mike, well, is All I'm saying is yeah, it's a conversation. I, I, I think it's, it's a conversation. conversation. That's it. it is. Is it? We have a conversation about it right now. We are. We, we, we just did about 12 minutes about it. We did a solid 12 minute block on it. <laughs> it is a conversation. I'm rocking with so then, then my only final Like, you know what's not... A, well, I ain't even gonna let somebody catch a stray. But there are lots of people who, then, who we wouldn't even and, and I'm say this. in the conversation. And, and my, is my, my goat, too. I'm gonna say this. Yeah. I think it's harder to guard Steph Curry than to guard MJ. <clears throat> think about me. Hold up. Think about if you're a defender, though. Just hear me out for a second, though. I know it sounds Which crazy. era? No, no, no. no, no I don't care where. No, no, where no, you just get. Hear, what hear what I'm saying. MJ, he is MJ, MJ, yes. right? He, he up there. Give me the ball. Steph is removed. Give me the ball. I don't need none of that. Steph is Imagine if you're a defender. The Let's put yourself as a defender, yeah, right? Not, don't look at the names. Look at the defender. Mm-hmm. Guard and Mike. It's going to be hard as hell anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But let's think about it. Steph will I'm be a more fade, I'm a on you. Steph will be more Steph, your card now, better Steph, be right. yeah. Steph, <laughs> Steph, Steph be you got to watch him yeah. before you get to half court. Where are you at? Yeah. All right? He running here. You're going to be tired as hell. Coach, I need a... No. But in that... No, we're not. No, We're not. In the not. hand check era, it might be a different conversation. Yeah. yeah. Steph, Steph would be more taxing, but it's kind of like, what's harder? Running uh, two miles or yo, running yo. 400? And look, like, you going to have, hold up, he's going to take up the dribble too, mm-hmm. right? Step back. Then he's going to go through these picks uh-huh. when he, with the ball. Then he's going to pass the ball off and I'm running around the picks. Yeah. Just hear me out for a second. Oh, yeah. He like, he like, he like Ray Allen, a young Ray Allen with an older Reggie Miller. Like he's, 
Give Stephanie his respect. Yeah. I'm a basketball. No, no. Everybody no, has his yeah, respect. Yeah, he does. It, so he he does so it ain't no need so, so He has his Steph, respect. Steph got the, the respect and all that. He does. Then he might not be the greatest player of all time because he's yeah. not Michael Jordan. I no. think Michael is number no. one. But he's in that conversation. 100%. That's, talk why, about that's it. why I started We're it off. talk about If it. you're having a conversation with what Steph accomplished, you ain't wrong. Nobody going to look yeah. at you crazy. But when you talk about the greatest of all time and you say who's better, Mike or Steph, Everybody, I got my Jordans on right now. I got my, I got you know my James on right now. Everybody's going to be like, come on, man, give me Mike. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.